was pulling a cart um, down one of the informal settlements with a fridge on the back. The fridge, um, with him jerking, the fridge fell off the back of the cart. The, he got a fright, he bolted, the driver fell off the cart as well, and he unfortunately, having blinkers, couldn't see. He ran across an intersection, he was hit by a truck. The extent of the industries were massive. Um, they were across the whole chest. This entire area here was open um, so that we could actually watch his heartbeat. That's how deep this wound was. Um, so it was really all traumatic in the front, but apart from the trauma of, to the physical body, massive trauma to his mind. He was a baby, quite young to be pulling a cart, hadn't seen what was happening, he had blinkers. Um, so apart from us having to fix this trauma, we, you know, it's hard to fix the mind. I fix the mind by taking him home. Um, I promised him that if he pulled through for me, I would pull through for him, that um, he would never pull a cart again. And he's come home and joined my herd of 16. He runs free. Um, he will never pull a cart, um, but he will certainly live out his life forever and live to be an old, old horse, but never working, never working for mankind. Um, the deep eyes, um, I looked into these eyes, they were baby eyes, um, they were terrified eyes and he put his head on my chest pretty much like he does now and he mouthed at me just like he still does and he just gave me his heart and he just wanted to fight back but he needed someone to fight next to him. Um, so that's really what stole my heart and I, it's exactly like this, just kissing me all the time and that's exactly how we stitched him up. We, we held each other hard together and we promised each other we would make it together and we'd stay together forever. He spends his days, uh, he wakes up at about six in the morning and he has a big slab of lucerne. He then gets his breakfast at seven o'clock with lots of carrots and apples in it as well as his normal concentrate. He goes out into his paddock at eight o'clock with his friends. Um, he's a young horse so he plays a lot. He generally torments the older guys and gets them into a bit of tag. He's quite famous for picking up sticks and running past the other horses, picks them up in his mouth, runs past and bashes the other horses to get them running with him. Uh, he comes in for lunch at one o'clock. He has his grooming at one o'clock, a little bit of TLC, goes back out for the afternoon. And then dinner, they come in at about five. They serve dinner at seven. Tucked in for the night, has his winter rug put on. Um, and then his last check is at 10 o'clock. So he spends his life eating and playing.